Almost a hundred years ago, John Maynard Keynes made two very bold predictions about the year 2030. We're almost there, and one of the predictions came true already. But when people learned about the other prediction that didn't come true, they were really upset. Let's find out why. Back in the year 1930, John Keynes predicted that by the year 2030, the miracle of compounding economic growth would give us all a standard of living between four and eight times higher than it was at that time. He was right, it's not even 2030 and we're 7.5 times more productive. The other prediction he made, that as a result of this expansion and extra production, workers like you and I would only have to work a three hour shift each day or a 15 hour work week. And that's it. Robots and other new technology would shrink the pool of necessary human labor to make it so small that workers would have lots of free time and never experience poverty. What an amazing world he predicted for his great grandchildren. Well, here we are in 2023, seven years away from 2030, and what has happened? Why are people still working harder than ever after almost 100 years? Why are people being forced back into an office building after being productive for several years remotely? And why are people working six or seven day work weeks? With all of our new technology, artificial intelligence, and all these apps, we are supposed to have an easier life, not a harder one. Yet these new business scheduling algorithms have given managers the ability to micromanage work shifts so precisely that now labor is matched with demand. That means that hourly workers are subjected to ever-changing work schedules that make planning their lives outside of work extremely difficult. Employer efficiency, it would seem, trumps employee satisfaction. But what employers and businesses are missing is that if they would change their way of thinking and offer more profit sharing in the business and a better work-life balance, then their employees would be much more happier, healthier, and therefore more productive. It would help the bottom line. And there's been several experiments with a four-day work week where productivity has gone up and those companies that try it stick with it. So with new advances in artificial intelligence right around the corner, it should be easy for all of us to have this higher standard of living with much less human effort. If you've enjoyed this podcast, if it's made you think, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, we'll see you next time on Shine 365.